the one, the only, Ben Sion. Good morning and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube. Ian Ben Sion. Today's daf is Nazir daf Nun Tet number 59. Today, even though Masechus Nazir has almost no application nowadays to regular people, but this daf has a lot of implications, not as much for the front community, but um, for politics. What's your political view? If you, <laughs> when you come up with your political views, you base it on the Torah. Some people do, some people do not. Um, you know, Ben Shapiro holds abortion. It's completely, is like killing somebody, even though the Torah does not assume that way. <sighs> the Torah assumes it's basically you're, you're, it's a financial... Um, loss you're giving to someone by creating an abortion and if you agree to it you can lose your money right if i want to take my wallet and throw it in the in the river i can do that and so there's really nothing wrong with abortion according to the torah you heard it here first but it's really clear from the torah there's a lot of akron that try to say no it's not chayv misa but it's all love or it's an essay why are they making this why are making it hard for yourself no problem with abortion it's not a person the torah clearly says that it's a pasuk in the torah come on Look in the Ksuvo stuff, Lamed Hey, Lamed Vav, you'll see very clearly, the Gemara talks about this, Kim Lebe the Rabbi. It's very clear from the Torah that it, <clears throat> that a fetus is not considered a living person. But here today we're going to talk about woke politics. Um, <laughs> there's an history in the Torah. The Torah says, Lo yakli gever al isha. Right? A woman shouldn't carry a kli. The Gemara says, a weapon. She shouldn't. Act like a man. And below Yilvash Garrison Lazisha, a man shouldn't wear a woman's dress. What is this talking about? What is this talking about? So there's two opinions. It's Maklokas in the, in the Mishnah, in the Brysa. They quote it. There's two opinions. Tanakama and Elizabeth Yaakov. Tanakama says, Toeva is when a man wears woman's clothing and goes and sits with the woman. Or a woman wears men's clothing and goes and sits with the men. Okay. So Rashi on the Torah says that's talking about the reason he's sitting with the woman, he wants to act like a woman, so then he can, you know, take a woman home with him because she thinks it's a girlfriend, they get home, I don't know, they have, and they have to do it together. That's what you, Rashi, Allah Torah, will lead you to believe. But the simple explanation in, in light of woke politics is, you know, you see all these discussions about people can just, there's a famous South Park episode where, where one of the characters, I think mean, it was Cartman, he took like a bow and he went from... <laughs> He, there was no room in the men's bathroom, so he went to the women's bathroom because he identified as a woman. He put on a bow, he put on women's clothing, and identified as a woman. He, he Yoshev Ben Hanashim, right? Or you feel you identify as a woman, and you go play women's sports, and you're the best athlete in the world. You're winning all the awards, you're winning the NCAA tournament. <laughs> March Madness for the women. <laughs> you beat UConn. And Gino, what's his name, or Yama, or something like that. <laughs> He beat UConn's 125 game winning streak because you decided you're an average basketball player, a man, high school, good play, basketball player, and you dominated college women's basketball because you feel like you're a woman. You know, basically gender identity. That's the opinion of Tanakama. But that's not how we hold like. That you don't get Malchus for. Going to the women's bathroom. It's also in the Rabbana, I think Mark said yesterday. It's also in the Rabbana. But we possibly, a woman shouldn't take weapons, go out to war. A man shouldn't fix himself with the fixings of a woman. Now, what does this mean? Some say it means to put on makeup. But I think it's a lot more than that. I think it's actually transgender. Transgender, when you actually get some surgeries. Uh, you actually, instead of just identifying a man identifying as a woman or a woman identifying as a man, you actually undergo procedures, whether sexual procedures or procedures with makeup or something like that, to make sure yourself actually look like the other like the other sex. You know, transgender is really a sexual change, not just a gender change. Um, and that's really what Elizabeth Yaku was saying. That's Del Raisa. Be transgender, that's an issue Del Raisa. Like talking to Kuna Isha to make yourself look like a woman, right? To get breast implants. There's different, I don't, yeah, it's a kind of discussing some of the surgeries they have, um, what you do with the genitals for, right, to make a man look like a woman, a woman like a man. But there are surgeries like this if you look it up. So I think that's what Zabin Yaakov saying. That's a lot more severe. That's what the Torah says. You get Malchus for doing that. And that's what Rabbi Yochanan said on today's daf. If you shave your armpits with a razor, or your pubic hair, that is, you know, part of, you know, 
the start of biological change. Biological, I mean, you can't really change your biological sex, but you, you could alter it to look like the other sex. So <clears throat> that's, we hold it Rabbi Yochanan, the second state of Rabbi Yochanan, that's Del Raisa. That, that's when you're doing physical changes to your body, to actually, not just on the outside, on your clothes, you're wearing a bow on your head. When you're doing actual changes to your body, right, you're putting makeup on, shaving your armpits, that would be Yisra Del Raisa, that's transgender already. That's started, I don't know if you have to do the complete transgender transformation. Or even a mediocre transformation is okay, but that's an issue that rice. You get malchus for that. However, according to the Kanakama, it's just gender identity would be chayiv the rice. But we all know like the Kanakama, that's still gender identity. Like we said yesterday, it would still be asr midra bonan. You don't use a razor, it's not a permanent thing. It's just gender identity. You wear clothes of a woman, or a woman wears clothes of a man. That would be something which is a violation. Of gender identity, which only Austria Midrabana. So therefore, if you want to identify as a woman or a man wants to, or a woman wants to identify as a man, that's only the Rabana. <laughs> if you want to be transgender, that's Austria Midrabana according to the Torah. Now that you've got the Torah's view of it, go back to your Ben Shapiro show and ask Ben Shapiro, what do you think of transgender <laughs> and gender identity after Nazir Dafna and Ted? Apparently, Ben Shapiro learns daf yomi so i'm sure this is a daf he really would probably enjoy but probably the shir he heard probably doesn't talk about this and probably doesn't mention the word gender identity or transgender because you're only going to get that with ben seal online who makes the daf contemporary also and fun and enjoyable and clear and fast and the best there's no no there's no lacking in my daf yomi share and the email ben seal share which is concluding now hope you enjoyed today's share see you in the next one